Jojo Noom Eco Superhero by Joho Splish, splash, splish. Grandpa Noom finished painting. That looks just like the old wobbly table we had in the hall upstairs, said Jojo. <laughs> it's that creaky old table, replied Grandpa, moving it. I'm upcycling this table. Upcycling? What's that? asked Jojo Gnome. Well, it's when you get an object like a table and make it better than before, replied Grandpa. I've painted it and now I'm going to decorate it with flowers. Then this table will look even better. I'm an eco superhero. There was a knock on the door. When Jojo opened it, there were his friends. Sha, her cat called Foxy, Hattie Hedgehog, LG and Hats, LG's dog. Are you coming to play, Jojo? asked Sha. Jojo brought them inside and shut the kitchen door. The first thing LG did was go to the kitchen bin and throw away his dog's hat. <laughs> Hats the dog growled and looked annoyed. His hat's no good. It's burst, said LG. Jojo gave Hats a dog biscuit to cheer him up. Hats crunched the biscuit, but he still looked sad. Your dog's called Hats, LG, said Jojo. I think he's sad because he isn't wearing his hat. Jojo Gnome had an idea. Maybe we could make him a new hat, said Jojo. Even better, we could recycle something and make him a hat, said Sha. She didn't want to waste anything. Eh, uh, what's recycling again? asked Jojo. That's when you use something that's old and make a different thing from it, said Sha. It's good for the planet. OK, let's each make a recycled hat for LG's dog. Auntie Molly keeps lots of things we could use, said Jojo. We'll be eco superheroes. Scrunch, crunch. They all looked through Auntie Molly's pile of things. There was paper, fabric, plastic bottles, old flower pots, cardboard boxes and lots of other things. They all picked something different and then got making. I've made a clown hat, said Sha. It was made from old paper rolled into a cone with pom-poms stuck to it. She put it on Hat's head. Ta-da! And now Hats will do a trick, said Sha, in a grand voice like a circus ringmaster. <coughs> Hats barked three times. And all of the pom-poms fell off. Hats didn't like the clown hat. <coughs> Next, it was Jojo's turn. He made a hat by putting photographs in an old hat. I've made a walking photo gallery hat, he said, making camera clicking noises. But Hats hid in a bush, so no one could see the photographs. Hats hated the photo hat. <coughs> Me next, said LG, who was wearing a small cardboard box on his head. This is a game hat, said LG. We throw balls and Hats catches them in the box. Simple. The balls kept bouncing out of the hat. Hats thought the game hat was too tiring. <coughs> right, me hearties, I've got something that Hats will love. Yo ho ho, it's a pirate hat, said Hattie. They loved playing pirates and pretending they were on a pirate ship in a storm. But Hats the dog always got seasick and... He was sick into his hat. Hats wasn't going to wear that pirate hat again. <coughs> Sorry, Hats, 
No recycled hat for you, said LG. <coughs> the dog gave a sad wee whine. Not so fast, said Auntie Molly. My turn now. And from behind her back, she produced the dog's old hat. But it looked great. Auntie Molly had saved it from the bin and mended it. It's amazing. You've painted lots of little bones on it too, said Hattie. Auntie Molly's upcycled it, laughed Jojo. She's an eco superhero. <coughs> Hats barked in agreement. Let's not allow all these fantastic hats to go to waste, said Auntie Molly. We'll take a photo. Everyone say cheese. <coughs> so, whose hat looks the best then? asked Jojo. Hats knew the answer <coughs> and barked loudly to let them all know. They were all eco superheroes. There was a mouse in every picture. Did you spot it?